This is the next problem. Solve d square y by dx square plus dy by dx plus y is equal to 1 minus e power x whole square. Here also operator form e is not provided in the statement. So first of all we have to reduce given differential equation into operator form. Operator form means equation should be in terms of capital D. Capital D is called differential operator. Don't forget it. Okay. After that we should find out the complementary function. After that we have to find out particular integral. Finally the general solution of this type of equations is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Don't forget it. So the operator form the operator form is capital D square here we have y here also we have y here also we have y so d square by dx square is nothing but capital D square d by dx is nothing but capital D and here we have only one of y is equal to 1 minus e power x whole square take it equation number 1 so here the function of d is d square plus d plus 1 which is a polynomial in terms of capital D and what is capital D? D by dx. So first write auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of 1 is f of m is equal to 0. Otherwise you can take f of r is equal to 0 as you wish. So f of m means in this f of d replace d by m. So you will get m square plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. Clearly we are observing that this quadratic equation does not contains direct factors. In such cases we can use the formula m is equal to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is called quadratic formula to get the roots of quadratic equation. Okay, Some of the members can get the roots by using scientific calculator also but it is better to don't depend upon too much on scientific calculator okay m is equal to what is b value coefficient of m which is 1 so minus 1 plus or minus root over b square means 1 square minus 4 times of a into a into c c is also 1 so 1 minus 4 by 2 times of 1 is 2 it would be m is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root over 1 minus 4. It would be root minus 3. Root minus 3 is nothing but i root 3. So, i root 3 by 2. Okay. Which are known as complex conjugate roots. These are in the form of a plus or minus ib. Whenever roots are in the form of a plus or minus ib, how can we write the complementary function e power ax, which is real part whole into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx where b is called imaginary part. So complementary function is equal to e power ax. What is a value? Minus 1 by 2. So minus x by 2 whole into c1 cos bx which is root 3 by 2 x plus c2 sin root 3 by 2 x. In this way we can easily write the complementary function. Don't forget one important thing. Complementary function is a, always depends upon nature of roots of auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0. Now we have to find out pi. The formula for pi is equal to 1 by f of d of q of x. Okay. So what is 1 by f of d? This one. d square plus d plus 1 whole into what is q of x? The right hand side function is called q of x. 1 minus e power x whole square. In general, we can represent the right hand side function with q of x. That's why I am replacing this value here. First of all, you should expand this one by using a minus b whole square, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. By using this formula, this is t square plus d plus 1 whole into a square. a is nothing but 1 minus 2ab. 2 into 1 into e power x plus e power x whole square. How can we write e power x whole square? It would be e power 2x. Don't forget it. Okay. e power 2x. Now separate the parts. 1 by d square plus d plus 1 into 1. Whenever we have a constant term, we have to express it as e power 0x. 
minus 2 is the constant term right outside from 1 by half of d. So, 2 times half 1 by d square plus d plus 1 into e power x plus 1 by d square plus d plus 1 into e power 2x. Okay, we should separate the parts in this way. Now, all parts are in the form of e power ax, e power ax, e power ax. Here, we should replace d is equal to a. What is a value? 0. Here also, we should replace d is equal to a value. What is a value? Compare e power x with a, e power ax. Coefficient of x is a value, which is 1 here. Here, we have to replace d is equal to 2. Okay. So, 1 by 0 square plus 0 plus 1 into 1. Already e power 0x is 1. Minus 2 times of 1 by 1 square which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 into e power 1x which is x. Plus 1 by d square which is 2 square 4 plus 2 plus 1 into e power 2x. So, it is 1 minus 2 by 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 into e power x. Finally, it is 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. e power 2x by 7. In this way, we can get the value of pi. Okay. Don't forget one important thing. After getting pi, for general solution of 1, we should add complementary function and particular integral. C of plus pi, which are also represented by yc and yp okay so y is equal to here what is c of e power minus x by 2 whole into c1 cos root 3 by 2 x plus c2 sin root 3 by 2 x plus 1 minus 2 by 3 into e power x plus e power 2 x by 7 okay this is the required general solution and one more important thing is the general solution should contains the number of parameters which is equal to order of the differential equation. This is a second order differential equation. That's why its general solution should contains only two parameters. One is C1 and another one is C2. Don't forget it. In the next video, I will give some more problems on this concept. Thank you very much.